moving on to the next question they are talking about this specific mushroom called as with reference to gucci sometimes mentioned in news consider the following statements it's a fungus it grows in some himalayan forest areas it is commercially cultivated in the himalayan foothills of north eastern india okay again it's a com they are talking about a commercial cultiva cultivation over here so the point is i want you to understand commercial cultivation doesn't mean that i have few mushrooms in my backyard and i'll take it to the market commercial cultivation means in widespread quantities they are able to provide it as per the market needs if again my logic in a lot of these questions what happens is see we are not very alien to the happenings of our country we do hear it we are people who experience food and culture everything around us if this was something that was extremely popular like certain you know dishes that you eat or certain um uh, products that you eat all around the country we would have had some previous idea about it but how many of you are hearing gucci for the very first time i am pretty sure those who wrote the exam that year a large majority of them would have heard it on the day of the exam when they saw the paper okay so now we have to figure out how many or if any of these statements are correct one thing upsc has done over here is upsc has said they are it's either out of these either one statement is correct or two statements are correct it's either one only three only one and two two and three all three will not be correct at any given point okay so now let's look if there is any incompatibility thing between any statements when you look at these one thing that becomes clear is they saying about gucci and they saying three statements it is a fungus it grows in some himalayan forest areas it's commercially cultivated in the himalayan foothills of northeastern india by the first level logic where if it is so common we could have uh, maybe heard about it though if it's something that's very commercially cultivated we would have heard about it i'm going to eliminate 3 when i eliminate 3 i'm left with 1 only 1 and 2 okay if i am saying 1 only 1 and 2 then this is the last part where you will need that push one thing is clear it's a fungus and as we know there is no restriction for the fungus to grow in the himalayan forest area when i'm saying himalayan forest areas i want you to understand it's from your northeast north north western himalayas northern all the way to the northeastern all of these come under himalayan forest areas these forest areas have wide range of temperatures also some extremely cold some very nominal plain like kind of areas but all of these fall under the himalayan forest areas okay so going by a probable chance you can maybe put one and two but here let me give you some additional information about your gucci gucci is actually or oh, it was there in news at that particular point why because it is not possible to have a commercial cultivation of gucci not not because of any reason the entire delicacy of it is because this fungus or this fungi this, uh, it grows in very rare areas of the himalayan forest areas it grows there but you have to and it's very tiny so you have to go for it for age for it collect it dry it and once it's dried and then only you can maybe consume it it's used to it's put in to make rices pulavs etc but the point is you need to get it it's that rare to collect it and even more rare to dry it and get it into the necessary thing so that means in a whole year you will have only very less gucci collected uh, for the different pro, you know different um, feast or whatever it is it's it until now it's not possible to have a commercial cultivation of it why because one it grows also in cold areas second thing is the process of getting the final product 
is extremely painstaking and very what you say customized kind of a thing so what happens is commercial cultivation in large scale is not possible so the answer to your question is c 1 and The next question is, which of the following is not a bird? Such an easy question. Four options: golden mesir, Indian night jar, spoon bill, white abyss. Do you even need to think if you've solved the other question? We know so clearly that it's the golden mesir because the golden mesir is a fish. What is your takeaway from here? And let me give you one important takeaway: Indian night jar has come in news this time. Okay, it's this very dragon-looking bird. that is perching on trees etc it's very common sight in our country just remember these so indian night jar spoon bill and your white ibis all three of them birds now that doesn't mean that you go and find out a lot about them but the indian night jar is important okay Now moving forward certain species of which one of the following are well known as cultivators of fungi cultivators means what will help that animal to grow so when you look at all of these um, you have to think th these are some species that we commonly know and then looking at it as the cultivators of fungi that means there must be some relation between the fungi and this species that we are talking when you look at it all of these species you look at crab the probability of crab and a fungus interacting with because see crab is primarily something that is there in that ecotone region comes a little bit goes primarily in water itself you the the possibility of a fungal you know because this is a widely moving animal also so what happens you know they would they would not have a stable ground over there anywhere and such kind of an interaction we rarely do see also so not crab cockroach is something that we all have seen around us if it was having some kind of a correlation with fungi you would have by now heard that in certain areas where there are so, so much of cockroaches you do find some other species also in a wide amount of growth you don't see that in correlation so leave it cockroach leave it crab both of these do not enhance fungus cultivation in any way coming to ant and spider This is where I have to tell you about the specific kind of ant called as your leaf cutter ant. Okay. So the leaf cutter ant has a symbiotic relationship with your fungi. both of them the when it comes to an interactive thing what happens is the leaf cutter ant creates a habitat for the fungi the fungi in return gives food for the leaf cutter ant and this is a correlation that they have the answer to this question is a 